it is currently two minutes to five a.m. I did it. Um, you're about to join me on my weekly adventure in buying low, selling high to fund my collectingness of Pokemon cards, video games, and other nerdy rubbish. So without further ado, let's jump into it. <sighs> oh, it feels good. I'm currently that early, the door's closed at the petrol station. Like, genuinely closed. 25 o'clock. That'll do. Please have vanilla in it. Come on. Come on. Yes. So it's 5.32. I've literally just walked onto the field. And I just realised I left my mask in the car. So I'm walking back to the car. But there's a full one side of a, of a row plus three cars. I suppose for 5.30 in the morning. So you'll see in this box there's a nice mixture of Marvel, wrestling and a few Pokemon bits as well. I was mainly looking for Pokemon. I saw there was a couple of Marvel Sumtums. As far as I'm aware there's not much money in it and from experience these guys are not the cheapest either. We do 30 for all of them. You do 40. It is worth it, I swear. <laughs> you know, you're getting a bargain there. 35, I've got the right change. 38. Yeah, go on in. You won't regret it. Twisting my arm. You won't regret it. You need the right change. No, no, I've got the right change. All right. 30, 5. So that's a decorating job for you. No, for my old man. All right. <laughs> I've, I've never decorated a wall in my life apart from painting. Uh, yeah. Um, does, uh, does he do decorate? You need, there's a special glue or whatever, but you'd use a good it's, quality. It says it on it to yeah. use their glue. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll give that, a, well, I'll uh, say I, he will give it a go. Okay, cheers. <laughs> Lovely, thank, thank you. At this point, I had already actually walked away, looked at the product online, and then come back to purchase. I know they're worth at least £40 a roll. On about twice, I believe. How much are the boots? Um, well, uh, <laughs> if you won't know how much they cost, about 120 quid, but uh, you can have them for 30. He knows what they're worth. He knows that he will get at least 30 quid. The thing is, at 30, there's not much room for profit for me in a pair of second-hand shoes that retail at 120. 20 quid. Yeah, if that one works. How much? Which one? Simon. Uh, five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, not bad, you? Yeah. Not many games here, is it? No, no, it's been a bit, a bit dead. Oh, I see. How much is Tommy? Uh, just 50p. Yeah, go on in. Uh, no. Well, what's up? Thank you. I was thinking of selling, and I'd bring some games along. Come back round in a little 
that's a bit too scratched from the eye. So all I'm doing in this box is just looking for dates as to when things were made and who made them. If we don't have anything clear on them, I'll put them back. How much are your soft toys? Uh, but not your soft toys, your toys. Uh, 20p each, I suppose. 46. Would you do 50p for the three? Because I don't think I've got 20p's. Just so you know, that's got nothing in it, game-wise. Oh, the PSP game, let's put it to the back for you. They're bright. Yeah, you've got to be a certain kind of guy to be able to get away from them. That's proper peacocking. <laughs> How much are they? Where's Lee? Hello, whereabouts are you? Can I borrow you for a second? Um, so second to last row, uh, about midway. Thank you very much. So I called in reinforcements. I had a quick call with Lee, AKA the Cola Flipper, because he knows his footwear. Generally speaking, between the pair of us, we're quite good at working out whether something's fake or not. Nah. 40. I've got these in a different color. I just wanted to make sure that you believe that they're real. The stitching to me, like everything around it looks, looks okay. How much do you want? He wants 40. I've had 40 in TK Max. Without the box, I would say. No, mine was without the box. That's what I believe. Six and a half. I don't know if it's a men's or a women's. I would I presume. Colours, but oh. Hello, men. What is four? But they're leery as hell. They are very leery. They're doing something, aren't they? I've got the same ones in the like, cream colour. They're at. Pharrell Williams. Yeah. In all this design. I'm, I'm so tempted. I don't know why I'm always drawn to boxing boots. How much are those, please? Uh, <laughs> 25. 25. Okay. Um, Did you get yours as a loft job? I put them up, but I haven't had a bite at all. But I just went high. What do you use that for? I mean, I've got an old friend. Oh, really? 150, thinking if we get anywhere else. Okay. Like, near 100, I'll take it. Solid, I'll tell you. 20 pounds? Might as well. Okay. I'll take those ones if that's all right. Yeah, lovely. First sale, so it's good to get a first sale with a belt. You want a bag? If you've got one. Oh, that'd be a good shoe cleaning box. Say, how much is this little beauty box? Five pounds. That would be worth. If you're not getting it, I am. I've, 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 I've got a full height one. So that is. Them, oh, yeah. that, this one's a bit less bright. A bit less. But height. that looks bigger, maybe. Well, you want the other train, if that's okay, yeah. Otherwise, I'll be hopping around. This is easier because you. Oh, I don't know. 
Let's have a look at the inside of the other one. They're up there, lads. Lovely, thank you. That's bigger. But, oh, there's not much in it, is there? Different tray sizes. That's yeah. the only thing is that's compartmented there. Uh, good. Honestly, there's a sheet in, but it's easy to do well. I've got fresh for you, I'll give you two right now. Got banana. I'll take the uh, the bright pink okay. one if that's all right. Yeah, lovely. Okay, you've only yourself a cup of tea now. Oh, well, no, yeah. <laughs> I'll in a lovely, thank you. Well done. Have a good day, mate. And you, cheers. <laughs> How much are your Funko Pops, please? Um, they're two pounds each. <laughs> Is that? That's a pound. <laughs> Any other toys at all? Is that it? Um, got not really. I've got <laughs> some, um, not really too many other toys. What sort of things? I've got a few like magic sets, and I've got. Um, uh, let's have a dig through. It's easier. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit disorganised. Nice, no, right? I never thought it'd be this busy so early. <laughs> it never normally is. This is the first time this year it's filled up. Really? Yeah. Wow. I suppose the weather's cool. Well, we've had two weeks of, of rubbish, Very haven't good. we? Absolutely. These are magnetic things. Oh, yeah. And there's spinners I've got. I think it's just those. Right, so two, four, five, and you can have him for free. Five pounds. Yeah, go on, it saves us another change, doesn't it? Yeah. Five. Thank Lovely, you thank much. you. Thank you. He keeps trying to escape. How much is it? I'm just looking. Give me the price. Give me the price. Now you're just looking. I'm looking. Okay, ask him. Is that the charger for it? Is that the charger for it? Is that the charger for it? Come on, son. Yeah. It's just two pounds. You can get two pounds. Thank you, sir. How much is the radio? Well, I said, I was thinking 20, but I'm flexible. It works, I tested it this morning. I paid a lot of money for that. A novelty value, it rewinds and you can stop the... Bumper. It rewinds and you can plug things in the back. Oh yeah, SD card, USB, yeah. Yeah. headphones. Yeah. It was quite modern. 50 years ago. <laughs> no, it's not, that old. not that old, it is DAB. No, it's not that old. No, no. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Oh, well, loads of bags. Anybody that can carry their own bags is worth it. Did a full carry bag? Well, I'm not really using the space very well, am I? So I'll reorganise a bit. You do 15 on it? Yeah. You should say 18. <laughs> it's, less, it's less hassle, just take it. I don't want to take it home. I like the hassle. Thank you. How much is your so Masonic regalia? Masonic regalia. Um, what, for each individual one or just, uh, yeah, In you could have them a, a pound for, for each of them. So, um, I think there's four in total, isn't there? Is there four in total? Yeah. I think so. so. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. so that, yeah. Um, that one's just a thing you've got. That goes, I think that goes with it, but it's, it's a bit thin. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the aprons always get dirty. Yeah. Pound as well? Yeah. Five. Lovely. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's 35. I wanted uh, 50 for that. Ah! Size 9. <laughs> Thank you. How much are the games, please? Two pound each. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Good bank holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be. Yeah. Hopefully the sun yeah, comes up. <laughs> like you are packing them. Yeah. You go to your car, you yeah. But if, if it's nice, if you don't go Yeah, yeah. Are you guys local? You live in Wembley? Okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, and the Yes, over. So if, if, yeah, then. <laughs> exactly. That's all you look forward to, the milestone. Yeah. Yeah. The year is done. It's a little burner. We don't have change, sorry. You can ask the ladies. Just wish you just give that away. Ask the ladies taking oh, money. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Do three for the pair. No, sir. Two pounds each for this, uh, my prime items. <laughs> i got to make some money back. Is that a GoPro on you? Yeah. Just, yeah, I'm really worried about the entrance. So I'll yeah, find yeah, all the bits that I missed. Okay. Yeah, once I make it's, that... How much is it now? 15? 15 more. It used to be 10. Yeah, it used to be like... Yeah, that's like, years like ago now. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It's cheap. 10, you make it back. Two. And you clear the rest. And Four. Everyone has yeah, I mean, look. Four pounds, yeah? Yes, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, think about this flat. Yeah, please. 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 Three pounds, these one. Okay. Oh, I'm not paying. 
three pounds for a VHS tape. Thank you. Mainly bulk, a few shiny, more hassle than what it's worth. So I went to a second car boot. This is my normal winter car boot. I don't like it anymore. Uh, the, the etiquette is just an absolute shambles over here. Uh, admittedly, yes, there's a lot more people buying in order to resell. At least that's the appearance anyway. But it's a lot more feisty where the clothes are just sort of being thrown on the floor and it's just, it's just not my thing. I'm too old for that rubbish nowadays. So I don't think I'll be coming out of my way to do this one again. The only reason why I came is because my first one completely filled up and I thought, you know what? It might be worth it. Don't get me wrong, this one's quite full, but it's just full of idiots now. Um, it's a real shame because I used to like this one. I don't know what I'm going to do when winter comes. Fingers crossed, there'll be a lot less people coming here to, to buy, to sell. It's been a good couple of years, but peace out. Car boot is over and done with. And considering it was very, very busy, I didn't buy a huge amount. I left the first car boot about eight something, 8.15 maybe. Uh, in hindsight, I probably should have stayed and just carried on walking backwards and forwards and wait for more things to come up because that's just sort of what happens. Went to the second car boot, bought nothing except for two PS3 games. I paid two pounds each. Uh, should be able to maybe triple my money if I'm lucky, but media doesn't take up a lot of room. Very, very easy to list. Uh, so let's go through the bits that I, I bought at my, my normal Sunday morning car boot. In no particular order, uh, one of the first items that I'm going to showcase is a very large pink makeup box. However, a massive thanks to Lee because uh, I, I bought uh, I bought some trainers which you're, you've probably already seen, but you'll see them next. 
and Lee knows his footwear far better than what I do. So uh, to make sure that they were completely real. So I gave him a quick call and he came over and, and basically said, yeah, they're good. And he saw, there was two of these. There was this one and there was one that was not as bright, but one of the, um, they were exactly the same price and pretty much had the same functionality. The only difference was in the top trays, um, one of them at the very, very top in the other one, they were split into two. So this allows me to maybe get some bigger items in top. But as you can see, it's it's all quite nice. And one of the, uh, the categories on the Sunday waffle, Sunday's at nine, by the way, it is a pink item. So this is going to be my pink item, which I didn't even think about that until I got back to the car and thinking, I need to buy something that's pink. And then I saw that, I was like, oh, that's that's kind of pink, that'll do. So I paid a fiver. I can now get all of the bits that I bought throughout the week that got delivered um, while I was at home. And I've now got a proper shoe cleaning box. So five pound shoe cleaning box, thank you very much. And then the item that I actually bought first from this stall um, is a pair of Pharrell Williams designed trainers. These are brand new with tags, brand new with the box as well. I paid £40. Uh, I think this is going to be a loft job, to be honest. Or I'm going to just aim high and just have them on. But they are some proper peacocking trainers, that is for sure. Uh, but yeah, I got Lee to come over because he knows his footwear. He's a lot better at IDing fakes than what I am. Um, but everything appears to be absolutely fine. The, it just looks good. It just looks good. So for the sake of 40 quid, it's just going to go on eBay, but for a higher price. And then if it goes from, uh, for that price, I'm going to be very, very happy. It's a very small size, though. They are a six and a half, I believe. Yeah, UK six and a half, which is not big, but it means because they're a smaller men's size, I don't know what they would be in women's. Any idea what a woman's size that would be? But yeah, uh, my first pair, and you know what? This is going to be my new item for the Sunday Waffle as well. So originally it was going to be that Boggle from 1993 that I picked up, but that, very, very nice. I do like that. I probably overpaid for this a little bit. Going right for this very strange looking pure radio, uh, the bug, it's about 20 to maybe 30 pounds. However, I do kind of need a new radio in my garage. So all I'm gonna do is aim very, very high and then use it in the meantime. But I do quite like it. It's, it's a very unique design. I, I quite, yeah, I like it. I'm gonna use it anyway. So it's got the power supply, which the power supply alone, to be honest with pure stuff, is normally worth about a tenner. So, or is it a fiver? Might be a fiver. So I'm gonna use it for the time being. It looks better than one that I've got. It's like a funky little ET looking thing. So yeah, for 15 pounds, was it? Or 13? I think I offered a tenner. I, I can't remember. Hopefully the, the footage will remind me because um, it's one of the best things about taking a GoPro with you. If you can't remember the price, Nine times out of ten, you can go back and just watch yourself paying for it. We have some wallpaper. Now, wallpaper can be very, very profitable. This is Zoffany. Now, apparently, it's a very expensive brand. And the guy who was selling it knew it was very expensive. I bought eight rolls for £38. He wanted £5 a piece. I tried 30 uh, tried 35 We eventually got to 38 Now, looking online, these brand new go for anywhere between 30 and I think someone was asking 200 pounds, but not this particular design. Now I need to find someone who has sold the Ocelot design, which is what this is, because it may be rarer. I mean, to be fair, it's, it's a bedroom feature wall sort of thing. So I'm quite comfortable selling this. I know that it will sell. I just don't know how much to ask for it. So some of the designs that I've seen is, is very obscure. Uh, but it does say uh, check batch letters before hanging. Batches are obviously very important when you're trying to line things up. Uh, use Zoffany paste recommended for this wallpaper. Use of Zoffany paste is recommended. Um, yeah, it's... I honestly don't know. 
I'll have to double check. But this was from 2018, so it's not that old. As I say, anywhere between 30 and probably 70, 80 pounds per roll. One of the last items I picked up at the first car boot was some Masonic regalia. I paid a pound a piece. Uh, generally speaking, um, there's not a huge amount in Masonic stuff. I bought a load of aprons a couple of years ago and I managed to get some really obscured coloured stuff, which probably got the better price out of what I bought. Um, so there was some nice green ones. Uh, there was some rainbow coloured aprons. Absolutely stunning. But for a pound a piece, although there's a pen on it, I, I can't really say no to a Masonic apron for a pound. And not only that, but we've got... So I dress up, so I do it all properly. That's all you're getting. But it's... Um, I, I've got all of this gear anyway. Although I am officially resigned. Um, but yeah, so I've got four of those one of those one pound each earlier this week or last week i picked up an angelica toy uh, i just got tommy same year 2001 and he's a little bit of a cream of a, of a cream or a clean one of the two uh, i think i overpriced angelica in my estimates last time i think i said between uh, 15 20 it's on the lower end it's about 10 to 15. tommy however my command a higher price. I just need to try and clean his eyes. As you can see, they're looking a little bit worse for wear. He's looked like he's been out on the tiles all night. So yeah, that cost me 50 pence. Theo was at a stall and he saw this case only. Uh, so yeah, no game, but it has the, the manual. I've got four or five Mario Kart discs left uh, that need to be put into cases. So I can now take another one out of the cupboard slash drawer and then put it back into the other cupboard slash drawer. Picked up these three for 50 pence. They were supposed to be 20 pence each, but I didn't have any 20 Ps on me. And I asked for 50 P, he said yes. Now these are from the Natural History Museum, 1989. Annoyingly, the year I was born, I could have done this last week. So this is a uh, Pleosaur. Uh, some, it's a water dwelling animal from the Cretaceous period. I don't know where it's from. Uh, itchy? Itchy? Is it itchy? Where is it? Ichiosaurus. There you go. Playing video games does help. And then this is going to be a Mosasaur, I believe. Oh no, it's a Plesiosaur. What? Pleosaur. Plesiosaur. That's... They're too close together for names. But yeah, they're, they're all... 19 that was 1978 this one's 1989 and then what's the itchy 1986 so I, i've never bought these before but they, they've got to be worth more than 50p for the three surely so they I just there was a whole box of just animals and there was a it looked like a glow in the dark t-rex but i couldn't find any proper signage on it so i ended up leaving that behind i may well live to regret that but uh those they were branded they were dated that's why i bought them uh oh one small pile left so i paid a fiver for this bundle uh first up we have I i've got no idea who it is his name is midnight uh this is by corgi this is number 982 of 2200 there's definitely something moving inside I don't think there's any brakes, which is surprising. But there's definitely something moving on the inside. I don't know if he's Marvel, if he's DC, if he's from a game or what. No doubt someone in the comments will tell me. But Midnight, CS59901, £2, I've got no idea off the top of my head. I really, really don't. Could be worth a fiver, could be worth 50 quid. At this stage, no idea. From Monsters vs. Aliens, we've got the blue blob, which I think Seth Rogen voiced. Uh, yeah, I've got, again, no idea what it's worth. But it's not a toy you see very often. Um, but it's going to be worth more than a couple of quid, surely. Uh, then Funko Pops. Now, I've, I've not 
bought any Funko Pops for a very, very long time. I'm very much out of the loop. However, this is from 2013 and it's a Thor Funko Pop. I think he's going to be worth a few quid. And not only that, I'm fairly confident this is worth money. It's Optimus Prime. I think boxed, he's worth quite a few pennies. Um, so unboxed, dusty. Uh, I should be able to get the dust off. That's not a problem. Looking for other signs of wear and lack of quality control. You can see there's some silvering, silver paint on the side there. To be honest with paying so little, I might just stick them up on an auction and just see how they go. I'm also very, very tempted to keep him because he looks cool. I don't know. But that's it. That's absolutely everything. So I now need to go to the lockup um, as I've got several items to pick up that I need to post this weekend. And it'd be a lot easier doing it today than what it would be Bank Holiday Monday. But that is it from me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you lovely lot in the next video. Keep gaming and happy collecting. Adios.